हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इनक्रेडिबल फिटनेस क्वेश्चन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर कोमल मिश्रा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन और सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज आल्सो नोन एज प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन प्लाज्मा लेमा इट इज़ द आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग व्हिच इज़ फ्लेक्सिबल एंड वेरी डायनेमिक इन नेचर It was Davison and Daniel who proposed the model, also known as a sandwich model. The other model proposed by Singer and Nicholson was a fluid mosaic model. Let's talk about details of fluid mosaic model. Now, fluid mosaic model was discovered by Singer and Nicholson in 1972. The cell membrane comprises of 55 percent of proteins. 25% of phospholipids, 13% of cholesterol, 4% of other lipids and around 3% of carbohydrates. Now why the name fluid mosaic model is given? It is because the phospholipid molecules and protein molecules they move side to side within the layer like a liquid. And the term mosaic is given because of the topographic pattern or arrangement which is produced by the scattered protein molecules the lipid bilayer consists of phospholipid molecule now this phospholipid molecule has a fatty acid portion which is hydrophobic and that's why it faces the interior of the membrane while the phosphate in is hydrophilic in nature and it faces the exterior of the cell that is to the extracellular fluid on one side and intracellular fluid on the other side proteins of the cell membrane they are glycoprotein and they act as a receptor for the hormones and neurotransmitters while carbohydrates they are in the form of glycoprotein or glycolipid the glycol part of carbohydrate molecule they protrude to outside of the cell now what are the functions of cell membrane the first and foremost is a transport they help in diffusion of gases like oxygen carbon dioxide and small molecules there are transmembrane protein channels and transporters aid in the transport then they help in the process of endocytosis as well as exocytosis they also take in food and excrete the waste products they aid in cell recognition and the proteins in the cell membrane they act as an enzyme and catalyze the reaction thus they are also involved in metabolic process so dear students go through this lecture and let me know any queries thank you